Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And as promised for a very long time, I am doing a 2021 overall energy video. I am wearing a sweater that I see now has fuzzies going everywhere, like everywhere. <laughs> We're gonna get through this though. Let's get into it. So the energy of 2021. I'm gonna tell you, I know this is a buzzword now, but it's going to be all about resiliency reclaiming yourselves, allowing yourselves to change. This is going to be, I feel like this is the energy of 2020 kind of spilling over into 2021 for at least the first three months. There's something uh, around March 21st, 2021. And I was explaining in a weekly, and this is the best way I can pass this along. There are two paths to take. There are two choices so I don't know if this is going to be on a world, I feels like it's on a worldwide stage, but I think it's going to affect us as individuals as well. So we have a choice to make. Do we integrate into our futures or do we fight it and have a, a sheer drop off? This could also be interpreted as something that needs to end finally comes to an end. And then the rest of us can start to acclimate and come into a future. That's another way that that could play out. Will there be sunshine and rainbows? Let that go. Let that go. Not a one of us signed up to be human to have things be easy, okay? What this is having us realize <laughs> is that 2020 really was sort of boot camp, okay? It was boot camp in forcing change on us, forcing us to take a different approach, to look at things from a different angle, um, I think this is, 2020 was definitely a time where a lot of people changed their affiliations, changed their, uh, viewpoints about who they associated with, right? So we see a lot of people kind of going to a side that they didn't think they would, having a crisis of faith, um, you know, just going, hey, you know what, now that I see, and I feel like this has been broken open and exposed... Hold on, I just heard topsy-turvy in the beginning of the year, topsy-turvy. Yeah, this is about politics. They're going to be all over the place, here in the U.S. at least. Anyway, um, <laughs> so there's that. Um, but yeah, there's this whole thing here of realizing that um, we don't believe the way we thought we did. And there, 2021 is going to be this entire time where everyone thinks they've got the groundbreaking solution <laughs> to what in some cases, thousands of years worth of problems. And like, you know what? Hey, I got the solution. Let's just do this. Or, you know, something that seems like a solution. It seems like it's a nice thing on the surface, but it's actually unfair to a lot of other people, right? Uh, and I was explaining in the weekly too, for November 23rd, 2020, uh, that's, I'm not recording this on November 23rd, but I'm just saying, I said in that weekly that, I've been picking up on this. A lot of other readers are picking up on this and we have been picking up on this for a while where there's a huge change in debt structure, a huge change in the financial system, but it's not gonna look the way we think. It's going to be cooperation, I feel, just me tuning in here, um, cooperation from an institution, a corporation that you never would have imagined. Okay, you never would have imagined this corporation would stand up and say, you know what? And the reason why it's happening is because the people involved in whatever that is, they have a change of heart. And so something starts coming about. If this sounds really crazy, think about the insurance companies, you know, the health insurance companies in 2020 who you know, really started to give resources so people could deal with their depression, uh, started covering co-pays for therapy. You know, there was lots of that going on. And who would have ever thought, I had my car insurance company basically charge me nothing from my car insurance because they're like, well, you imagine your car just sitting at home. I'm like, it kind of is. <laughs> and so they were doing those kinds of breaks as well. It has this kind of feel where there's more awareness or there could be more awareness, we'll see. Everybody can do like a sharp turn and say, I changed my mind and start being really nasty. But where we are right now, we'll just have to see <laughs> how this plays out. 
um, people are starting to realize and people involved in these corporations are starting to realize like, hey, this is better to do it this way. Hey, we don't have to keep going down this road. Now, I've been saying this for years as well. It's a little scary to look around and see how people still get sucked in by people who are very manipulative, um, condescending, diminishing, you know, that queen bee syndrome, yes? And how people will get sucked in by people like that. And I, I think 2021 is a year of change. It's where people are gently waking up to that and realizing, oh, nope, I'm not going to participate in that abuse. Whether you're a follower of one of these people, um, or you're just, you realize you have things to heal within you. And that's how, you know, I'm dealing with that too. Um, things that you need to heal so that you're not, you know, going into those kinds of dynamics. We're starting to get smarter. We're really starting to get smarter. I think there's going to be huge revelations in electromagnetic. I'm hearing, what? Electromagnetic human density. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> but I think what uh, the feeling I'm getting here is that we're starting to understand what we really are made of and what else is there for us as human beings. What else is out there? Uh, that's going to be happening quite a bit. Um, just revelations. Things. It does have a lot of moments of shock, and it's sort of like. Um, it's not like 2020 it has a different feel than 2020. 2020 had this like, oh gosh, like <laughs> when I felt 2020 approaching, I felt like as if I was on a roller coaster and we were coming over the hill and I don't know what's up. I just have to deal with whatever comes. Yes. And so that, that was the roller coaster ride of 2020. 2021 is the roller coaster stopping and coming into the station and your heart is still thudding. You're a little dizzy but you got to get off this coaster. Okay. And you're going to have to figure out what you're doing next. If you want change in your life, whatever it is. Okay. Or you want to manifest something as an individual, you will have to examine certain things about who you've always been process that and work through it before anything will open up. discovering our power again. And that's not like the ego power of that's right. I'm going to make you believe the way I believe. And that's it. Cause I'm right. And you're wrong. <laughs> right? Or if someone has a strong opinion about something, seeing them as self-righteous, right? There's a balancing here where we're, again, we're getting smarter about not just jumping to conclusions about what we think we're seeing. Uh, people will go too far with this. People will go too far with this. People are going to, 2021 is going to be that year of, I think, of uh, really trying to force the supposed open-mindedness on people. And it goes too far. It goes too far. Um, whether that's, you know, it starts to like violate morals and ethics or someone is taking something that is a worthy cause, but they're manipulating it so that they can get more attention. So this is that kind of idea of like goading someone into reacting to you and then, you know, turn around going, see, see, do you see them? Do you see them? You see them? You see them reacting? Look at what they did. Look at what they did. Look what they did. You know, that sort of thing. So we're going to still have a little push pull with that and people trying to understand and really come out of all the manipulation. That's really what is occurring here. So it's a year of big change. It's a lot of old structures that just kind of go away. It's weird. I know. Old structures go away. But what they're replaced with, it's not exactly... <laughs> it's not exactly it, sis. Okay? It's not exactly it. So we're going to be messing things up, of course. We are going to be learning from our mistakes. And, you know, the thing that I feel like is a big thing for me to pass along to everybody here that I'm picking up on would be that feeling of wake up to the manipulation. Now this does not, this does not entail making up a manipulation in your head and saying, you know, I've got this magical story around what's going on out there. No, feel into a truth. 
yes? And you have to be able to take care of yourself, <laughs> right? To understand what that truth is. And even if you think you've struck gold with some bit of truth, it's your truth. Now you can offer that truth, but we have to really figure out how to be more loving and kind to one another. How can we cooperate more? Um, you know, maybe starting to wake up, here's an example. Waking up to people who only do charitable things when people are watching. And when they do something nice, boy, they make sure it gets publicized everywhere. And realizing that doesn't make you a good person. Or, you know, on the surface, they say, oh, I'm all about love. I'm all about love. I'm all about love. And I want everything to be fair. And I'm not materialistic. But behind the scenes, they're being cruel and being a bully and you know, in public playing the victim, but behind the scenes, they're actually um, being evil. It <laughs> kind of like, kind of, I don't know, just not nice. You know what I'm saying? So we are going to start, I'm, I'm feeling like these big revelations coming around this where it's kind of like, okay, I see it. Doesn't mean we call it out. Maybe we shouldn't call it out. Do not as I do. Okay. Because <laughs> you see how many, because when people are doing bad things and they get called out, um, they do tend to go on a smear campaign. And they, again, they expose themselves and the whole bit, but still it's like negative energy that they put out there because their ego is so wounded, they have to, right? What else do we have here? So I'm telling you guys, the whole first part, uh, uh, <laughs> January, I'm hiding with a cake, okay? Y'all wanna hang out with me? Let's hide together with a cake. Uh, just because it, the people are coming out of that 2020 energy, remember, time is not linear, so this isn't like a clean break of 2020, and now everything's great, <laughs> right? I mean, unless you're a numerologist. If that's your tool, that's your esoteric art, you might <laughs> disagree with that. Um, and say, no, as soon as we hit those numbers, you know, the energy shifts. And, you know, I don't doubt that. But I think people are still going to be stuck in a mindset and still wanting to fight. But there's kind of, there's something a little funny about this. Not funny, haha, but it's kind of like ironic. I don't know. I don't know what the word is. But um, January is about irony. I am going to use that word. January is irony. I don't know what kind. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know. But um, it's just lots of twists and turns and like, uh, really? Did that really just happen? And it's a mess. Okay. It's a bit of a mess, but we can handle a mess. Okay. We as humans, we are programmed to be messes. Okay. That's how we learn. That's how we, you know, failures are some of the best things that you can experience in your life because it gets you going um, with your resiliency, there's that word again, with your resiliency, uh, trying again, you know, kind of honing your skills, um, perfecting it, you know, what have you. So hot mess January, I'm down. So there's that, again, I'm sorry to keep just driving this home, but it just feels like January, February, March, it's like, there's like a hook. There's like a hook of 2020 and it goes right around those three months, okay? Then as we come into April, everyone is just over it. And maybe, at least where we're at right now. Uh, and I feel like people are just kind of like, just trying to chill. We might see people out in the news who are causing trouble or they're trying to end trouble. You know, there's there could be something loud and in our faces out, out there. But what I'm saying is everybody else is just kind of going, I know how to deal with this, okay. We're learning to manage our emotions in a healthier way. Hopefully <laughs> that potential is there where we collectively can start feeling that sense of we need more cooperation. You know what? I'm tired of fighting. And that's the energy of April. You know what? I'm tired of fighting. Oh gosh. You know what? I know you have a good point here, but you went in attacking this other person and you were hoping to make them look bad. You were hoping they would fight you. You wanted this self-examination looking at ourselves, looking at, looking at how 2020 has changed us. I bet a lot of us have gotten our priorities straight. I know I won't, you know, take for granted getting to hop in my car and go on a little road trip anymore, you know, because I love doing that. That's what makes me feel like I'm expanding and growing is trying new things and all that. And 2020 was not the time for that. It just wasn't. Families may have broken up. Families may have experienced losses. 
And this is that time coming into 2021 where you're coming to terms with that. You're coming to terms with whatever it is that you experienced in 2020, okay? So we have the, just the craziness and the spikes and all this stuff of 2020. And then we have this sort of hook of 2020 coming into 2021. And then it's just like, everybody shh. <laughs> everybody shh, because we're tired. We're tired on the surface. On a deeper level, what's happening is our strength is coming out. We're waking up. We're understanding. We're not making up stories just so we can look right, but whether we're really starting to become aware. There is immense awareness coming out. Now, could this look like exposed you know everything is, is exposed and you know maybe maybe but that doesn't feel that important it is important egotistically speaking and surface level speaking it is important some of these things that get revealed but the point is that there are far bigger things happening for us it's a good thing it's a beautiful thing on, a, on that deeper soul level there's something else shifting and coming about 2021 will be our last chance before 2022 (laughs) where 2022 is going to be if you want to see it as like you get your grades in 2022 now do you got to go back and repeat the grade or do you pass kind of thing that's a very human way of putting that you know what i'm saying but uh, 2021 is where you get to see what you've learned from 2020 implement it get those changes going get clearer about what's going on in this world and how we all show up in this world. And this doesn't mean putting pressure on yourself to have a label so you feel like you have a purpose, but rather in our, in our magnetic field, there's something, there's going to be a lot about that. And some of those crossover spiritual practitioners who have been talking about this for forever, it's going to be your time to shine. (laughs) It's going to be your time to shine because you'll be able to say, see, yes, here it is. Here's some more definitive proof of how this works. Yes. So we're being asked to change in 2021. We are kind of coming to terms with everything, as I've said. Um, A shift in your belief system, who you associate with. And if we don't get there by 2022, I'm telling you, that's where the grades come in. And so if you didn't adjust, or didn't, if you're not fair to yourself, if you didn't set those boundaries with someone, let's say, your boundaries are really going to get crossed in 2022. Time is not linear. This isn't exactly these little chunks of years, but for our discussion here, fine. This is what we're talking about, right? So the the vibration there is you'll see where you went wrong. You'll see what we will see, you know, out in the world too. We will see where we went wrong. So remember I said 2021, everyone's going to come forward for their, their sort of solutions to everything. We're going to realize that don't work. Okay, (laughs) that don't work. And uh, we have to kind of go back and fine tune it and see what else might be there. Space travel, big thing. Uh, That's going to continue. Financial systems, complete shift and change. But I don't know that we get the right, um, you know, I knew you guys probably say, Michelle, are you being predictive? Uh, You know what I say about predictions? I don't think they hold a lot of water here. You know what I'm saying? Because... It's an energy. It can change. This whole thing could be wrong by the end of 2021. And I'm not sorry. Okay. I did my best. This is where we are right now. And that's what I can offer you. But what I am getting at here is that whenever stuff like this does come up, I go ahead and pass it along because it seems like it's okay for us to know this. This makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but (laughs) it's coming up. So I'm just going to give it to you. Uh, So there could be a huge change in our financial institutions. Um, I have for years been seeing water, like giant waves, just waves of water. But we are learning to surf and water is emotions. So is it gonna be a perfect year? Heck no. Will there be things going on? Of course. Is it gonna be as scary in what it was in 2020? I don't think so. I don't think so. But uh, the cure could be just as bad as the disease itself. Now, I'm not a doctor. Don't listen to me, okay? There could be something coming up, again, where we thought we hit a solution, but it needs to be reworked. 
And yet, this can be that time of just learning to stay level. This doesn't mean that you don't care. It doesn't mean that you don't fight for things if you feel that you need to or what have you. But rather, it's becoming smarter and wiser about what we're feeling and understanding what truly is important and realizing where we've wasted our energy on fights or where, here it is, where we have been manipulated, where we have been puppets, where we have been providing energy into a beast that we never knew about and that really we never agreed to. Something has just been taken from us. We find this out now and we can begin to heal. I don't know what that's going to look like. We'll just have to uh, <laughs> take it as it comes, I suppose. Now, I'm going to leave that there. I am going to do some videos for each of the signs, pull some cards, just take it for what it's worth. That's more just so you can be aware of what you might be contending with. All right. Leave your comments down below. How do you feel about 2021? Do you feel that hook of January, February, March? Or was that just me? <laughs> do you feel like there's going to be more turbulent times? Or do you think that people are starting to realize that, you know, working towards harmony and cooperation is, you know, much more effective than the approaches we've taken before? Just let me know down below. As always, I'm sending you all so much love and take care.